What's up guys? Today I bring you episode 69 of the coolest tech of the month, June 2022. So I'm back with another epic episode where I'll be checking out a whole bunch of innovative cool tech products and gadgets. And in this episode, you're going to see an electric scooter. We have drones, some neat audio tech, a unique security camera, some gaming bits and pieces, and a very interesting smartphone with infrared camera and lots, lots more. As usual, everything you're about to see will be linked in the description box with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you. So without any further ado, let's begin with the first cool product. So first of all, we are checking out the new Kick QI3 Pro electric scooter. And inside the box, you will find a user manual, an extension nozzle for the tires, a bag of M5 screws and a three millimeter socket head wrench. And you're also getting a power cable and a power supply. And I'll give you a quick close up of the voltage information. Now to get started, all you're doing is lifting up the main front bar and secure it in place by closing the latch and you'll hear it click into place. Then you need to fit the handlebar onto the body. So begin with connecting the single cable together and then use the included screws and tool to secure the handlebar in place. So the scooter does look quite premium in build quality. It's made from space grade aluminium. Love the spacious board with the non-slip surface. It actually looks like two layers. So quite solid looking scooter. And there is a built-in kickstand, which is useful. And on the other side, you will find your charger port. And I like that the port is covered with a small flap on a spring hinge, which keeps that port safe and clean. Now it does take a solid five to six hours to fully charge the battery from zero to 100%, but then you can expect a pretty good 31 mile range on a single charge. Quick look at the handlebars. You have a bell, left hand brake, right hand brake, and a throttle. Now there is a small LCD display in the middle showing you your battery and speed. If you single press the power button, it will change between normal mode or eco mode. If you double press the power button, it will switch on your front halo light. Also, every time you press the brake, the rear headlights do turn on. And if you triple press the power button, it will change between miles per hour and kilometers per hour. We have 9.5 inch tubeless tires with dual mechanical brakes. And as a bonus, you have a rear electrical brake too. Now this scooter is powered by a 350 watt motor, which can achieve top speeds of up to 20 miles per hour, which can also be further boosted to 25 miles per hour using the smartphone app. Now it's also great to know that this scooter is IP54 water resistant. There is a smartphone app called the new app, which connects to the scooter via Bluetooth and it lets you unlock and lock the scooter. It also shows you battery and charging information and also gives you rider records and stats. There is built in maps and navigation and you have some settings that you can play around with, including the ability to boost the top speed. Now folding up the scooter is dead easy. Just release the front latch, drop the handlebar all the way down and press the button located at the rear and the main bar will lock into place. You can now carry this scooter around at your leisure, although it does weigh around 20 kgs. Overall, well-made, well-designed scooter. It's actually quite powerful and handles hills with ease. You've got quick acceleration, offers a smooth drive with a decent top speed. So that was the new Kick QI3 Pro. Impressive ride. Definitely check this one out, people. Check it out guys. This is the Sony PSP1000. It even tells you first released 2004. And you can see all the internals there, the logic board, the button board. You can see the UMD drive. So I'm a big fan of these uh, framed deconstructed tech. This is the first one with a PSP. This was definitely one of my favorite handhelds. So an absolute classic becomes a collectible. Uh, definitely a huge fan of these products. So so next up, we have the Tranya Go Smart Fitness Watch. We are looking at a 1.69 inch IPS display. You've got 24 seven heart rate monitoring. We've got automatic sleep tracking. You even have automatic workout detection. There are nine sports modes built in. You've got IP68 certification, up to 10 day battery life, and you can manage everything from the smartphone app, which is called Glory Fit App and it's compatible with both Android and iOS. 
On the back you can see your health sensors and charger pins and you have a standard USB magnetic charger and it takes around 90 minutes to fully charge the battery. On the side you've got a single button and on the other side there is nothing. We've got silicone straps, buckle is made from metal and the straps do have quick release so easy to remove and replace with your own 20 millimeter band. I'll quickly run through the system menu so that's your default watch face. Swipe to the right you've got your health status with steps, uh, calories and distance. Swipe again you've got your heart rate sensor, your SpO2 monitoring, there's your automatic sleep tracking and weather. If you press the button it will take you back to the watch face, if you press the button again it will turn the watch face off. Swipe down you've got your quick toggles for brightness, settings etc. Uh, swipe up you've got your notifications so it will push notifications read only directly from your phone swipe to the right you've got all your apps quickly show you what they are sports status heart rate sbo2 sleep weather music messages more and setting if i tap on more you've got stopwatch countdown flashlight and find the phone if you keep the center press you can change your watch faces and there's a handful of watch faces that that are pre-installed and from the smartphone app you'll be able to download more watch faces so this watch does not support bluetooth phone calls so you can't take your phone calls on there um, if you receive a phone call it will alert you but it will give you the option to drop a call and also this does not have any built-in gps so it uses your phone for the location services so quite affordable in price the big screen smart fitness watch by trania this is the trania go Check it out guys, next up we have a brand new rugged smartphone. This is the AGM Glory G1S smartphone. So it's IP68, IP69K, military standard 810G durability. It's waterproof, dustproof, shockproof and dropproof. You've got a 6.53 inch LTPS Full HD Plus display. That's 2340 by 1080. It's powered by the Snapdragon 480 with Adreno 619. You've got 128 gigs of internal storage and there is micro SD expansion, so you can expand it up to 512 gigs. Supports dual SIM 5G. You've got a 48 megapixel main camera, a 20 megapixel infrared night vision camera, and that's not all, things are about to get even more crazier. You've got a thermal imaging camera, which can actually give you real-time temperatures while you're testing. That is insane. There is also a two megapixel macro camera and a 16 megapixel front selfie camera. Other extras we have, NFC. Believe it or not, you've got a laser pointer as well, which is just crazy. Not only that, this is running Android version 11, uh, a pretty stock-like experience. You've got a headphone jack, rear fingerprint sensor, 5,500 milliamp hour battery, supports 18 watts of fast charging and the fast charger is included in the box. So very quick first look at a very interesting and innovative rugged smartphone. Jam packed features and not just ordinary features, these are pretty insane features that I can't wait to continue testing especially that thermal imaging camera and the infrared night vision. You can actually take infrared night vision video with this, which is crazy. AGM Glory G1S rugged smartphone people. All right, so next up we have the BenQ screen bar halo. So here we have an LED light for your monitor. We've got an asymmetric optical design. This illuminates the desk without causing screen reflection. It will give you 500 lux of wide range of brightness. There are three eye care settings that you can change. The backlight illuminates the contrast between the monitor and the surroundings. You have a wireless controller, which lets you adjust the brightness and color temperature. And this is compatible with both flat and curved monitors. It's adjustable so you can clip it on top of your monitor and the part that clips onto the monitor is made from a soft uh, fabric spongy material. So you're not going to scratch your monitor frame at all. And the wireless controller is really cool. It lets you control the brightness, but also it lets you control the color temperature. So you can see the color temperature is changing right now. That's more cool and you can go warmer. So you can see that in real time. Um, if you want to change the brightness, there's the brightness right there. That's max and that's turning it right down. So that's off, that's on. You can also put it on automatic and it can automatically adjust itself to comfortable levels. 
So next up we have the Haymix Tempo X Submarine Humidifier. Wait till you see this one. So this is a humidifier designed like a yellow submarine. You've got a little driver sitting in there too. And that's the lid. Right, so what we're doing is filling this up with water to the max line. This is not an ordinary humidifier. This one is really cool. So that's filled up to the maximum line. We're dropping this in place. All right, so we're gonna plug in the power USB-C and there's a USB-C port on the back. So in the box, I also got an extra character. There's a switch underneath, I'm gonna press it. Oh, wow. Check it out, guys. That is so cool. So we've got LED light on the front and you can see that is actually blowing up hoops. It's blowing up proper hoops. So the humidifier soothes your mind as it sprays mist rings that match the rhythm of the music. You've got three light modes. So that's light mode one. If you just lift that up, put it back down, that's light mode two. And if we lift it up again, put it down, that's light mode three. So you've got three light modes. You've got automatic shut off protection. You've got anti-slip design and the water tank is 250 ml. So there are a few modes that you can play around with when you press the power button. The power is off. If you press the power button once, that will just constantly blow hoops from the top and the, and the light will just flash. If you press it again, it will just do things a bit faster. So it will blow lots of hoops and the light will flash faster. If you want it to be in music tempo mode, so it matches the sound effects around it, you press it once more. And every time you make a noise, it will blow hoops. So next up we are looking at the Edifier MS50A smart speaker. This one supports AirPlay, Spotify Connect and Alexa voice control. The speaker itself has this wooden finish going all the way around and you've got a fabric mesh grill on the front. And on the top you've got touch controls for volume, power um, and pairing. The speaker itself consists of a 25 watt woofer and a 15 watt silk dome tweeter giving you a maximum RMS of 40 watts. Now the dimensions are 21 centimeters in height, 14.3 centimeters in width, and 14.3 centimeters in depth. And it weighs 2.3 kgs. Now this smart speaker has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth version 5.0. It supports true wireless stereo sound, so you can pair two of these together to give you a dedicated left and right channel. There is a smartphone app where you can manage everything. You can connect your Alexa and your Spotify accounts and it gives you some controls for volume and playback. I'll give you guys a very quick music test. All right, time to have some fun. So this is the Lolin U61 kids drone. And when they say kids, they mean age 14 onwards. So not for small children. So this is quite an affordable beginner drone. It does have a whole host of features, a built-in camera, which can take photo and video. You've got headless mode, low alarm battery, custom flight routes, out of range alarm, and one key takeoff and landing. So here is the drone itself. You can see we've got propeller guards for safety. So in case it touches your fingers whilst it's flying, it's not gonna hurt you, but also it's not gonna hurt your furniture or your walls. It means you can use this drone indoors. There is a camera and it can swivel. So if you wanted bird's eye view while you're flying, you can just swivel that downwards. And if you just wanted the usual front view, you can have that as well. Here is a controller and the controller requires four AA batteries to operate. All right, so we've got spare propellers, which is always useful. And so once you set it all up with the smartphone app, you'll be able to see the live feed for that camera whilst you're flying. So a feature that you would get normally in a professional drone is available in this affordable beginner's drone. We've got a micro USB charging cable and a screwdriver, and you get two batteries. They are both 500 milliamp hours, and they will give you seven minutes of flight time per battery. You can see the camera live feed right there. Unlock the drone, just diagonal downwards, propellers ready, lift. That's it. 
One of the easiest drones I've ever flown. Look how the control is so smooth. And that's a live camera feed, but it's just showing you the wall. I could turn it around. Now this is the Retech foldable magnetic wireless charger. It's a phone holder and charger in one. It's made from this rubberized material, so that gives you maximum flexibility. On the side there, you can see there is a single type C port. So you can basically open that out, use it flat, or you've got three positions that you can place it. Now, even this part over here is magnetic, so it's held in place magnetically. See, there is a ring already attached. You can take that off. If you haven't got an iPhone and your phone doesn't support uh, MagSafe chargers, then you basically peel this sticker back and stick it on the back of your phone. But fortunately, I do have an iPhone, so if I stick my iPhone on top, you can see that it's immediately charging. So not only will this give you up to 15 watts wireless charging, it's also a pretty decent stand for your phone. Now this is also ideal to use in your car. So just peel back the adhesive, stick it onto your dash as shown in the picture right there. So once that's stuck to your dash, you can have it lying flat and you can charge your phone like that, or you can prop it up in case you were gonna use a sat nav or something. So a very nifty design, it looks quite useful to me. I definitely won't break the bank if you wanna try this out for yourself. Um, this is the iVola Deluxe System Carry Case for Nintendo Switch. So we've got a zip up hard case and I got this especially for my Switch OLED, but this is actually compatible with any Nintendo Switch. You've got a carrying strap as well included. So I got this especially for my OLED model, but this is compatible with any Switch model. You can literally store the entire Switch console. So we've got the docking station, the Switch itself with the Joy-Cons attached. You've got a separate section here for extra Joy-Cons. You can add a Pro Controller, your AC adapter. You've got space there for a charger cable, HDMI cable, and you've got 18 pockets altogether for your games. So a very neat and tidy way to travel with your Nintendo Switch keeping the entire system safe and sound whilst you travel. A very good quality case and attractive price. So next up we have the Flylead 3 port USB-C car charger. So check it out guys, we've got a 55 watt car charger with three connections. USB-C port will give you 25 watts max and the USB-A port supports quick charge 3 and will give you 18 watts fast charging max and the five foot coiled type c cable will give you 30 watts max total power delivery via the two type c ports you're getting 55 watts and while we're looking at chargers this is the joy room 30 watt power delivery fast charger so you've got two type c connections and each port will give you 15 watts of fast charging so it's an ideal replacement for your apple charger it will let you charge two Apple devices at the same time. Um, so basically iPad and iPhone, um, iPhone and Apple Watch, and so on and so forth. So any two Apple products charged at the same time with a single charger. Now it does also support Power Delivery 3.0 and Quick Charge 3. So not only does it support Apple, it also supports Samsung, Huawei, and other compatible fast charging technologies. So Next up, we have the Earfun Air Pro SV. So these are true wireless stereo earbuds. We've got a uniquely designed case where you can actually see part of the earbuds sticking out. You do have a Type-C charging port on the front. You also get a bag of spare ear tips of different sizes and a Type-C charging cable along with your paperwork. Now the earbuds themselves are held in magnetically, not gonna fall out easily. Now the interesting thing about these earbuds are the design. They are made from a combination of aluminium and plastic. They do support hybrid active noise cancellation 2.0. You've got six microphones built in. Each earbud has a 10 millimeter driver and you can get six hours of battery life from each earbud. And the charging case will give you an additional 18 hours of battery life. So that's 24 hours of battery life in total. Now the earbuds are IPX5 sweat and water resistant. They do support touch control and also your voice assistant. So next up we are looking at the EasyViz C6 2K Plus Smart Home Camera, which can actually spin 360 degrees, giving you a panoramic view. You've got four times auto zoom and tracking. 
You've got two-way calling, so there is a built-in microphone and speaker. Also features color night vision. You've got AI pet detection. You've got five gigahertz Wi-Fi. Camera also features hand recognition. So you can simply wave at the camera to take a photo. Now you do have micro SD storage right there or cloud storage options are also available. And you can access all the info and all the recordings directly from your smartphone. And you've got a whole bunch of options at the bottom, settings. You can manually spin the camera around. Look at this, guys. See, that's spinning. And not just left and right, but you can also go up and down. So next up, we are looking at the Unitech three-port USB-C fast charger. And here's the charger itself. It does come with two travel adapters. And I'm just going to pick on the UK one. So we've got three ports on the back. Now, when you're only charging from one of these ports, you can get up to 65 watts fast charging from the USB-C ports and up to 36 watt fast charging from the USB-A port. But if you're going to use two ports at the same time, so if you're charging two devices, then you get 30 watts each from the USB-C ports and the USB-A will give you a lower 18 watts fast charging. Okay, so another interesting charging gadget. This is the Choi Tech Invisible Wireless Charger. So this is a very interesting piece of kit. It's an under table wireless charger. Um, it's got a built in fan to keep things running cool. And I'll tell you what the charging speeds are. 7.5 watts max for iPhones, 10 watts for Samsungs and 10 watts for other fast charging certified phones. And it's not just phones. You can also charge your earbuds, your Pixel Buds, etc., at 2.5 watts. All right, so I've got the wireless charger underneath. That's like a test unit. Um, when all the lights are on, that means you've done it right. All right, I just need to, without moving anything around, place my phone on top. And there you go. You saw it is now wirelessly charging. Bit of work, bit of reading, but in the end, it does work and it's not bad. Okay, so let's see what we have next. Now here we have a bunch of innovative, uniquely designed snap stands um, for various different gadgets. So you're looking at the Ergomi Titan. So it consists of the Titan number 13, which is a universal laptop stand. We've got the Titan number nine, which is a universal tablet stand. And we even got one for smartphones, the Titan number six. And there are a few other extras that we have here. Right, so here we are, all three sizes ready to look at. Let's check out the laptop stand first of all. So it's made from a almost leather-like feel. On the inside, it feels like velour. Um, the hinge seems really solid, really nice uh, hinge. So you can see I've just opened this flat. Then what you're doing is folding. That's going to stay flat on the table. And there you go. You've got yourself a laptop stand. So here is my MacBook. I'm just going to place it on the stand and that holds it in place. <laughs> that is quite neat. And you can drop it down to different angles. And you can see that hinge is so solid. Um, even with the weight of the laptop, it's not just going flat, even though I'm dropping it nearly right down. So angles, people, you can get angles, any angle you want. You want it high raised, you want it low raised. You can do that with this. And here we have the tablet stands. So similar way, you fold that, put that flat on the table. You do need to use one of these magnet holders and that will allow you to drop your tablet on top. And the last one we're looking at is the Titan number six, the, the one for smartphones, and you can place your phone on top. And for this to work on this one, you can use the Orbit Short, or you can even use the Satellite Square, just stick it on the back of your phone. So that was the entire set for the Ergomi Titan products. I have to say they work well, but more importantly, they're very well designed. Um, they feel durable. It almost feels like it's a metal plate inside this soft material. So I am personally gonna be using the laptop stand. Um, that does look really handy. This is a 60 piece accessory kit for the GoPro Hero 9 and the GoPro Hero 10. Look at that. There's so much in there to even go through. Just check it out guys. You got a zip up hard case, tripods, tripod mounts. You got a chest strap, head strap, wrist strap. You got suction mounts, mini tripod, backpack mount. You got a floating handle grip. You got bike mounts. You got various extension and arms in here. There's like so many inside here. That includes lots of adhesives and adhesive mounts. So if you've got a GoPro Hero 9 or a GoPro Hero 10, this is all you're ever gonna need. So over 60 piece kit. I think this one specifically is like a 71 piece kit. And if you do have a look at the price online, you will be pleasantly surprised.
So there you have it guys, that concludes episode 69. And if you got this far, then please hit the like button and let me know which products were your favorite from the bunch. I'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. I'm into new innovative tech products. I'm always happy to try out new tech. So this is why I drop this video every month, not only to introduce you guys to something new, but also to give some of those new brands a chance to show us what they're working on. Now, all the links are provided for you in the description box. Like, sub and follow if you have not already. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.